Greetings, and welcome to Spider Man Gameport's channel. This time, another glorious Game Boy game, Final Fantasy Legend 3 by Squaresoft. The cartridge appears to be in playable condition. We'll go ahead and take it apart, clean those contact pads, and reminisce about Final Fantasy 3. And down in the comment section down below, I want you guys to tell me whether or not you had a chance to play Final Fantasy 3, and whether or not you have the um, Squaresoft or the Sunsoft additions or versions of this game. You can see that I'm trying to get that spot off right there. And try not to ruin my label along the way. Because it will get up and underneath there. It looks like it already did. And But you gotta be careful with some of these labels, namely around the edges of them. Oh, got that all off there. I hope you're all having a wonderful day. I know I am. Getting a chance to uh, take apart a Game Boy game that's vintage like this is just. It's amazing. It's so nostalgic and it's so just therapeutic and relaxing. second here. Can I zoom in so you guys can get a screenshot of it? You got it? Yeah. You, you could have had it there if it would have focused properly. Just about. My camera's been having issues lately. Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to bring it back up again. We'll just zoom it in instead. That worked better. Mm. There's a reason why we have the digital microscope for this purpose. So we could really get a good macro of it. Because I noticed the limitations of my cameras, which are old phones. Give me a second, we'll go ahead and use the digital microscope. Back on, ready to go. Let's go ahead and clean this cartridge. Oh, yeah. See, I remember the second one in this series the most. And I'll familiarize myself here shortly with the uh, first, second, and third. I'm cleaning all these cartridges all at the same time. And these, these will be the last of the actual um, Game Boy games for a little while. I have a ton of other content that I would like to get busy working on. Um, game Gears are definitely going to have to be put on the sideline for right now because I just don't have the um, wherewithal, mental capacity, uh, intestinal fortitude, <laughs> if you want to call it that. All this is just, yeah, this right here is my favorite part of this. And then I'm working on, after this will be probably Super Nintendo or Nintendo games. Maybe even some N64 stuff. I haven't decided yet. And there's, I, I haven't had anybody uh, comment or demand that they want a follow-up on anything yet either. So, I'm... So I'm open to suggestions as well. Look at that flux on this one. This one's got some flux on it. Not that it's a bad thing, but it's like... Let's tidy it up some. Make it look nice. A lot of this has to do with me um, making really, really uh, short videos for TikTok. 
and I want these boards to look as shiny and bling as possible while I'm working on them. I'm going to do a quick demonstration of the game, which I absolutely love doing this stuff. This is what I have always wanted to do since I was a kid. Well, this and law enforcement. You know, I always wanted to be a cop too. A law, you know, law officer of some sort of magnitude. I, I, I don't know if I was ever wanted to be like a patrolman or anything like that. But maybe you have to if you're a um, like you have to earn your rank in your position. Yeah, let's get busy on cleaning this up. But yeah, this is something I've always dreamt of doing. It's just um, just enjoying myself, talking about vintage video games and cleaning them and working on them. I wanted to do this back in 2012, but you know, this it's the way the world works. I'm a little late on getting to all of this stuff, but I'm so happy that I'm doing it now because mm, and I've, I've seen some very old videos and that's the problem with them, they're very old. They're not updated, they're not new and improved, they don't have anything like this. <laughs> you know, like they're not showing what we have here. And thank you all so very much for watching, it is greatly appreciated. Thank you for following me and subscribing to my multiple social media outlets. It's, it's amazing. It really is. It's awesome. <laughs> it really is. It's very humbling, too, knowing that you're all watching this stuff, too, and, and remember it just as much as I do, if not more. Trying to get all that grodiness off. And yet be firm yet gentle not to pull a pad up. It's a purposeful mess too. Like there's so much mess everywhere and it's just yeah. <laughs> immensely satisfying knowing that seeing the results too afterwards when you get it all polished up and it actually does shine. Some of these won't, some of these do. And it's like the ones that do are just like ah. <laughs> and the ones that don't are, are, are still just as you know satisfying because it works right away as soon as you put it in the console you don't have to worry about a thing have changed from what I used to have them as. They used to be a much more um, denser rolled uh, cotton. And they still work but it's like they're, they're making a lot more mess than what I was used to having. Different um, 
biodegradable. Bamboo or hemp cotton balls, uh, cotton swabs. There's that shine we're looking for. <laughs> we got it. We definitely got that shine we were looking for. for a better turnout than that. Oh yeah, those are super shiny. <laughs> Gorgeous. Alright, um, let's put it back together again and let's uh, play inside the console. Yeah, and all that is what I was looking for. <laughs> uh, see you guys in a little bit. Hey everyone, I am back. Let's play a quick game of Final Fantasy Legend 3 by Squaresoft using the Super Game Boy. Hope you're all having a wonderful day just as much as I am. This is absolutely amazing. Trying to make sure we get all those recordings properly done. Oh, the game plays immediately. Excellent. I never had the privilege to play this at all. It was always the uh, the second one, Legend, Legend 2. Uh, Legend 3, this was rare. This was like something really hard to find. Like a, one of those obscure ones. I've never played it, so this will be the first. I'm sure it's just like the rest of them. Rast, short for Rastalin. <laughs> if you've ever played, if you ever watched those, uh, or sorry, if you ever read any of the Dre and Lion series. I just want to see if I can get it, get it wasted at least. See how much it comes down.
No, I'm sure if you bought the game brand new and you had it CIB, there would be a map, and the back of the map would have all of these creatures, you know, like weaknesses, certain things that would be allowing you to uh, maybe get through it a little bit easier. No, at least know what you're up against. Just, you know, more than what we just seen. Right now we're kind of on a uh, script. This had hints to chrono, you know, like chrono cross or chrono trigger. That'd be kind of cool. You know, like hints that they were working on it. There's no enemies. It took so long to run. Sometimes these games are just... That's what they do. They're RPGs. Five party members. 
this game probably needs it. I mean, like, the enemies are so tough and brutal that you need to have five members so that it doesn't just, like, pick you off. There's no glitching or nothing to this. So obviously it must be just the particular first of the series of these games that we're playing that ends up having minor flaws, little issues here and there. Um, yeah, I mean, epic. <laughs> so much fun. Well, thank you all so very much for watching. Have yourselves a wonderful day. Be healthy, stay safe, happy gaming everyone.